Hello everyone and welcome to the first part of our awesome second series of our horror game computer programming tutorials for Windows or actually whatever any anything works. Today we'll be starting our second series as a YouTube partner and we'll be looking at horror games. So let's get right into this. We got our Unity file new project. We open up our project, we're gonna call this horror. I'm gonna input our character controllers. Um, yeah, we can do skyboxes. Um, we can do, we can do, we can do, we can do. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna use for now. And maybe image effects. I'm having a pro version of uh, Unity, which um, just really just makes it uh, much easier and makes the game looks a little better, more advanced, more professional. So. I'm going to quickly open up our Unity and we're going to get right into this. So I already have some custom, um, pretty sure I have a custom folder, just made it. Uh oh, uh, <laughs> black towel, I think I need it. Here we go, let me just open up my um, files. So either image, nope, um, pictures maybe, images, yeah, there you go. Alright, so I've got these two little, uh, thing with jiggies, um, see this wall, and we've got a black tile for the floor. So our Unity project is still loading, and I'll be back to you guys when this finishes up. Alright, and we are back to this awesome Unity. Um, little layout. I assume that you guys know how to uh, browse around Unity because this is really basic stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna quickly. Um, oops, why is this? All right. So we got a little view. We're gonna create it for our first little cube. Here we're gonna have to zoom in and. Uh, or to rotate, uh, to resize, I mean, and we're just going to make a floor, just like this, so, for now, even though I don't like these, but we're going to need directional light, just for now, and we're going to bring the main camera up a bit, turn it around, make it face down so we can actually see our little platform, now, in here we're going to create a right click, create, you folder and close pictures. Pictures. We're gonna get our images or pictures right in this folder. It's gonna take like like barely like barely like no time. So okay, we got our black towel and now we're actually gonna have to create materials. So again create folder materials first material is going to be our floor we select the black tile we're going to drag it here first and right now it's, it's literally a little too big so we're just going to make it sort of like 4x4 four four. something like that now I don't say this is a creepy sort of tile but it's good enough we're gonna, we already imported our first person controller, so we're just gonna go ahead and go to standard assets to catch our controllers and drag this in. And W, we're gonna move it up. And now this is a common error when people have their character like, like this. They play the game, he falls down. You wanna make sure he's like above the ground. So when we click the play button, uh, we got we got this thing, and uh, we already got some stuff going. Obviously, we want to make him maybe a little bigger, just, just like this, and um, maybe change the the actual like, blue to a nice skybox. That I'm pretty sure we also imported. Yep, skybox. So we're gonna go file, or actually, where is it? Edit. 
Yeah, render settings. Edit render settings. Skybox material. I think it's called Night Sky. Moonshine. It's good enough. Change ambient light to a little darker. We're gonna create some fog. Click fog. Also make fog a little darker. Maybe a little the, the reddish color, like a little blood in the air or some of like that. And um, you know we just want point one. Point oh one. Point oh yeah, I'll just keep it point one. And uh, that doesn't matter. Okay, so let's just uh, let's go to first person controller. And we're gonna look around and the movement. We're gonna make sure that the speed is actually set to the three and three and the three. And this is like ten. This is like I don't know, twelve. Actually it's like seven. Gravity thirty. Max fall speed thirty. And uh, we're gonna go to our um this sensitivity 10 maybe we'll have to go less but it just makes your controls so much nicer as you just walk around you know you, you get this little feeling that you're actually in some sort of a horror place like you know what I'm saying um so now we're gonna add some sort of walls to make our level look a little better First, we're gonna make this a little wider. Now, to add walls, what I usually do is Control D, duplicate this cube, press W to uh, bring it up. I should make the ceiling right now. To be honest, yeah, I'll just make the ceiling. The lower the ceiling, the scarier it gets. The higher the ceiling, the less scary it is. But we're just gonna put it midway. And um, um, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and leave that there. And right now, instead of directional light, we're gonna replace it with a spotlight, actually a point light. I think it goes like this. And um, you want to make sure that it's closer to the player as possible. Like, um, I want to make sure it's like on the player. Sorts of intensity. Maybe a bit this way. You want to look here. And uh, we're going to give it a little bit of ambient. Sort of red, red color. Like that. Pinkish. Doesn't matter if you guys want to copy this color, you can just do 208, 101, 101, 255. We're gonna attach this to the player. And we're gonna call this nothing. We're just gonna call this ambient light, something, I don't know, lights. And uh, as you know, it's right now. It moves around with us. Honestly, you can make this a little less, less intense. And a little darker obviously not too dark but uh, we're making sort of like a bloody horror game yeah this is still a bit uh too bright but whatever it's good enough still darker 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 we have to go dark like full dark yeah it's good enough and now we're just gonna add our little creepy walls here. Now we're gonna turn the all the effects off. We're gonna duplicate this wall, bring it up. We're gonna turn it 90 degrees on the Z, or actually negative 90. I think. We're gonna go ahead and bring that all the way here. That's, that's good enough. 
and replace that that and we're gonna make a new material material new ma create new material walls or wall whatever doesn't matter I'm gonna select things or seamless wall and we're gonna make it three by three or no actually we're gonna make it why we can make it one no maybe it's different thing maybe it's no i don't know you have to play around with these actually actually maybe we're gonna rotate it maybe this way a little bit nine degrees so now it's sort of like sideways and uh yeah you get that little crack on cracked wall and uh, you can still play around the material actually to be honest because this does not satisfy me too yeah that's good enough control d I'll bring that over here control d i'm gonna bring this over here click e turn this around 180 bring this right there and then just move that there and just click R increase the length a little bit and we get that effect now if we play that here we already have this nice ambient sort of um, level design here and uh, honestly we can get rid of the, the red fog you could say by going into render settings and just getting rid of the, the, the red like absolutely getting rid of it maybe just keep keep a little bit but so you get that like so you can uh it's dark, but you can look up and you can see the ceiling. And uh, one more thing for today: play around with ambient light. Make it too dark, so like super dark, like as dark as this. So it's actually scary. So that was part one. For today, in the other, in uh, tomorrow's part, or whatever, whenever we're gonna record the next part, we're gonna be adding flashlight and uh, possibly some more load designs. So stick around.